Today we're going to be looking at the Vankio 620 1080p performance projector, so stay tuned. Welcome back to another video, everybody. Today we are talking about projectors. More specifically, this one from Vankio. Now, in full disclosure, Vankio did send this out to me for review, but my opinions are entirely my own. We are going to be talking about the good and the bad with this projector. As always, if you are interested in any of the products talked about in this video, there will be affiliate links below with up-to-date pricing, so check those out. Also, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on all future videos coming out. So Vankio just released this brand new V620 model projector. This is a native 1080p projector that has a built-in audio and a quiet fan, but we'll be putting that to the test later. Okay, so in the box, we've got the power cable. We have an HDMI cable, VGA cable. We have an audio splitter, and then we also have the remote control. So that is what the remote looks like. And then we've got the manual. One thing I wanted to show you guys in the manual here you might find helpful is this is the range it needs to be a way to get the desired size screen that you need to be so take note of that depending on what size you want your screen to be that is how far away the projector needs to be if you take a look at the projector it comes in a padded carrying case so you can travel with this thing it does have a pouch in the front and here we have the projector inside we also take a look at the carrying case here. It does have a Velcro pouch on the side that we can uh, put some cables in there. Now, if we take a look at the projector, we can see that we've got uh, the dials here. This is gonna be for your keystone. So depending on how the angle of your projector is, this is gonna be for focus. We've got a power button here. This is gonna be the IR receiver for your remote. We've got our different buttons here, menu buttons, up, down arrows select and then we've also got our input so we can run through the different inputs if we want to on the top here taking a look at the back we have got two hdmi ports two usb ports a vga an audio out we've also got that audio splitter and power on the side we have got the speaker and some vent holes we have some more venting on this side and then here is what the bottom looks you can actually take the feet off the bottom if you wanted to mount this to a ceiling there are screw holes underneath the feet here. And now let's test it out. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention, Vankio did also send out a projector stand and a 120 inch projector screen. So I will be using those in the demos for this video. I've had this projector screen tossed in a corner just in a big lump forever and I pull it out and there are no wrinkles in it. So I am very impressed with this screen and would definitely recommend if you're looking for something that this is great for the price. So the first place I wanted to test it out is that we tested this projector out in the girls room. Since they do have a bunk bed, I was able to take the PVC pipe and set that on the top of the bunk bed and hang it down. I then took the projector stand, put it across the room as far as I can to shine it onto the screen. Now granted, it's not far enough back to fill the screen, but it was perfect for being in the girls room. There were two setups that I used with a projector. One was connecting a laptop with HDMI, and the second was just connecting a Fire Stick directly to the projector. The one problem with the Fire Stick is that the way that the ports are positioned in the back of this projector, I can't directly plug the Fire Stick into the HDMI ports. I had to use the little dongle that came with the Fire Stick to plug that in and then have it hang off which looked a bit ugly, but at the same point, who really cares? You're not looking at the back of this while you're watching something. You'll see here that even during the daytime with the shades closed in the girls' room, that you were still able to see everything really nice and clear, and that's without it even being pitch black. The audio sounded really good, and the fan was not very loud. Something tells me it's supper time. Come on, I'll show you what now the next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to move this to a bigger space and take it down to the garage where I could actually get the full 23 feet away and fill up this entire screen. The one problem that I found is that this stand wasn't really tall enough to get the height for the screen that I had. What I ended up doing is I just took our standard six foot ladder and put the projector on one of the steps. It seemed to balance pretty well. I just had to make sure that the girls weren't around any of the wiring 
and it was ideal having the fire stick because other than the power cable hanging down, there wasn't a lot of extra cabling. Or on the other hand, when I did connect the laptop to it, I had a lot of extra cabling, not only to power the laptop, but then I had the HDMI hanging down. So the fire stick has really become our go-to for using this. So we set it up here in the garage. Here is what it looks like with the lights on. You can still see pretty well with these lights on, but check this out with the lights off. This thing looks absolutely amazing. I was shocked at how nice this looked. Now that we've set this up in the garage, the girls wanna go out there all the time and watch stuff. I wish we had a bigger room in the house so we could give this a more permanent setup, but this thing is absolutely amazing. I was blown away with the picture quality that it gave out being a native 1080p, going all the way back, filling up that screen. I literally felt like I was at a movie theater. We ended up bringing out some low chairs and some blankets and laying down on the ground and that was awesome. Yes. <laughs> so with all the good things said about the projector, there were some things I was not that happy with. Now, even though the onboard speakers are good, I tried to connect an external speaker to this to give it a lot better audio and I found that even with the speaker's volume all the way up and the volume all the way up on here, that the sound was good. It wasn't really high like I was wanting it to be. I wanted to really pump up that volume and get some good audio out of this. With both of them maxed out, I thought the audio was okay. I wish I was able to turn up the audio even more. One thing that I found is that if I did connect my laptop to this via HDMI and then plug the audio directly into the laptop, the laptop was really able to get some great audio out of that. So that is one workaround that you could do with this projector. But with all of that said, I love this thing. I have always wanted a projector. I remember being a kid and my cousins used to have a projector in the garage that they would hook up Nintendo 64s to and we'd play Mario Kart and that was just the coolest thing ever as a kid. Putting that up on a full wall and just being able to play video games, watch movies, set up sleeping bags, like that is a childhood memory I will never forget. So if you are looking for something awesome for your kids, this thing comes in at just over $200. I would definitely recommend looking at getting something like this. Like I mentioned before, all the products talked about in this video are gonna have affiliate links down in the description with updated prices, so check those out. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified of more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.